get, get ready, ready for Ooh. some Samarific Science Facts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello, Samarific Science fans. I'm back. I'm here, too. I'm here, too. I mean, like, I am here, too. Okay. I, I forgot to zoom you guys out from last video. But anyway, this is all up to Charlie today while we unfold the world of snowy owls. Take it away, Chuck. We're going to start with one of Sam's wild facts. Snowy owls are actually the only owl that has furry feet. See? This is the feet, and they're the little hairies. Um, see, this says snowy owls are the only owls that have, that has furry feet. And Fred never lies. So, I just found out from Sam that all owls, even snowy owls, don't make any noise when they flap their wings. Even though they might in TV, they don't in real life. So, the reason why is they have a little bit of something. Feathers. Feathers under their arm that when they do this, it makes no noise. So, do this with me. When I do this, it makes a noise. But if I put my hand under in my armpit, it makes no sound. That's because... This is my feathers in my skin. Let's say this is my feathers in my skin and really it's my shirt. But when that stops it from flapping out and the wind catches it and, and pulls it out and makes the sound. So, today I am here. Only This is the only fact I am telling you here, okay? So, I'm here to talk to you. About the Great Eruption! No, not a volcanic. No, not a volcanic eruption, Fred. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. This is the most exciting wildlife event in all of nature. Got that? Most exciting wildlife event in all of nature. Get that through your head. Okay, now. Um. I don't know. Said that. Okay, so what is the snowy owl eruption, you ask me? Well, of course, it's when snowy owls leave their native home, the Arctic, and then they fly down south to as far as Florida. Florida at the least. Isn't that a ridiculous habitat, Sames? Like, you know the differences there. Florida's pretty near the hemisphere, and the Arctic couldn't be far, though. So... Imagine that, being in the North Pole and then just flying down to Florida. What other difference do you think would be there besides the client? The climate, sorry, not the client. Well, here's the a climate. fun fact. My dad once saw a snowy owl on the cross of a church. Which church? Where? When? I don't know. Very helpful. <laughs> well, so when this happened, it's really weird because not only are they switching climates but they're also switching diet did you think of that did you think of that i thought of that because think about it there are things in the arctic that can't live in florida for example but there are things in florida that can't live in the arctic so when they're in florida they'll uh, for example we'll say they're in the arctic and they'll eat things like lemmings even though they're a super powerful hunter they strengthen like to stick mostly to rodents and then in florida they'll hunt other different things like small alligators and canada geese if they're in northern united states to southern canada like my area but yeah they're pretty adaptable with climate and diet back to so it's on pause now. Here's a great wild fact that relates to a movie that I really love. Really? In Harry Potter, he the like I mean, I really, stone, really the love sorcerers, this. the Philosopher's Stone, the Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire. The Do you Order understand of Phoenix, Phoenix, The Half Blood Prince, because I don't, and the Deathly Hallows. This this owl Hedwig in all of those movies is an actual snowy owl that has been trained to bring letters to people. Like, isn't that crazy? Owls were 
also used in the war to bring letters to people to from trench to trench. And so, and Sally, if you ever actually watched Harry Potter, have you noticed it's fully? Really